What is going on, guys? JD from New York here, and I'm coming at you this week, as usual, with your WWE Week in Review, news and rumors for the week ending May 5th, 2013. Now, before I get into what I want to talk about, guys, I got a ton of news. I got news on Paul Bearer and possible Hall of Fame induction next year. I got news on The Undertaker. I got news on Batista again and his rumored return to the WWE. I got the updated uh, Extreme Rules pay-per-view card. I have news on Vince McMahon and Dwayne Johnson. Uh, rumors going around that Rock, The Rock may not wrestle anymore, but I have uh, news on what Vince McMahon thinks. So uh, sit tight, grab a beverage, and sit back and enjoy WWE News and Rumors. But before I get into that, a couple of things. Number one, I'd like to wish my grandfather, I know he's not listening, but I'd like to wish my grandfather a happy 87th birthday. His birthday will be tomorrow, May 4th, 2013. Uh, he'll be watching the Kentucky Derby uh, in the comfort of his own, own home, so I'm happy about that. Hope he enjoys the race, and happy birthday, Grandpa. I love you, and uh, I hope you have many, many more. Uh, secondly, I would like to uh, send my condolences um, to the family of Jeff Henneman uh, from the heavy metal band Slayer. Uh, he was their uh, rhythm lead guitarist that passed away uh, yesterday morning at 11 a.m. Uh, due to liver failure. Uh, he was only 49 years old. Uh, Slayer has been a big influence on my music, um, my band's music, my brother's band's music, pretty much everybody in the, in the heavy metal genre. Uh, he has touched and influenced in a positive way, uh, and it is a great shame that he passed away yesterday morning. The heavy metal scene and the music world uh, lost a superstar. And Jeff Henneman, he wrote most of Slayer's material, their lyrics, their music, everything. So um, it's sad to see uh, another musician go, uh, especially at the age of 49. So rest in peace, my friend. Uh, and I will be dedicating uh, all week to uh, blasting Slayer and my Mustang. Uh, so let's get right into the news, guys. I got, I'm going to start off with uh, Paul Bearer. PWInsider.com reports that Paul Bearer is already being discussed for the 2014 Hall of Fame class. The top choice of who will induct him is obviously The Undertaker. This is an interesting story because The Undertaker traditionally doesn't appear at the Hall of Fame to keep in his character. However, everyone understands he would be the most appropriate choice to do the honors of inducting his longtime manager. Another name that comes up uh, that is rumored as a backup plan just in case The Undertaker doesn't do it uh, is Michael P.S. Hayes. The Undertaker is and should be the only one to induct Paul Bearer into the Hall of Fame. I don't even want to discuss this any further. I don't care if he has to break character. I don't care if he has to be in character. The Undertaker, Mark Calloway, whoever he's going to show up as, needs to be at the Hall of Fame induction if this is true. If he does indeed go in next year, Mark Calloway, The Undertaker, whoever needs to be there inducting Paul Bearer. It is the only, only choice. In fact, have, have The Undertaker and Kane side by side at the Hall of Fame. That would be absolutely epic. WWE, WWE remains high on the idea of Dolph Ziggler, AJ Lee, and Big E Langston holding all the singles titles at the same time. There has also been talk of Langston challenging Kofi Kingston for the United States title in the near future. I like this feud. I think Langston and Kofi Kingston can have a great US title feud. That, that title in the mid-card needs something big to happen. I've said it many, many, many times. The WWE mid-card is weak. They need to do something with that U.S. title. Right now, it's just a prop. I don't understand why they even took it off Cesaro. Cesaro is going to be the future of this company, or one of the pieces to the future of this company. They're, they're jobbing him like a, a straight scrub right now, and it sickens me that they're treating him like this. It's probably just a hazing process, but I don't understand why. You know, he, He's obviously proved his worth to you already. Kofi Kingston is the U.S. champion. Big E. Langston vs. Kofi would make a great mid-card feud to get people talking about the mid-card again. I also like the idea of all three of these individuals, AJ, Dolph Ziggler, and Big E, holding all titles, being like the most powerful group in the WWE right now. That would be very interesting, so we have to see how that plays out, but I'm all for it, and you know I'm a big fan of Dolph Ziggler, so he's already got the belt. AJ should, be have, should have the women's title anyway, and Big E Langston, I wouldn't mind him having the U.S. title. It makes him look, look, look legit, excuse me, legit, and, uh, you know, it, it you know, presents him as uh, not a rookie anymore. You know, he's, uh, he's an upcoming superstar. It would be great if he uh, had some gold around his waist. WWE officials are planning on bringing NXT's TV show to the United States beginning in the fall. The idea is to use this show as a way to introduce the, uh, the developmental talents to WWE's TV audience, similar to the last ECW program that was done. The plan is for NXT, which is currently airing overseas, to remain a one-hour uh, TV show in America 
and the WWE officials are high on the idea of making another $100,000 per week uh, without any extra cost because NXT is already being taped. Uh, they tape NXT uh, straight four shows in a row in, uh, in, one, in one week. They, they get it all done. And I'm hearing that it probably will be on sci-fi. And I've seen a few early, early episodes of this new incarnation of NXT that's uh, manned by Triple H. Uh, this is his, old, his whole vision. Uh, it's great. And I'm all for this idea. I can't wait for them. And I hope this, uh, this does materialize and, and uh, we see this on, on American soil. Uh, you, you know, it's great to see all the superstars that the WWE has up and coming who's possibly going to be on the roster. Uh, and it, it's, like I said, it's a great way for us to see who is next up and coming in the possible future of the WWE. I would love to see that. The Undertaker was not scheduled to wrestle at May's Extreme Rules pay-per-view, but without CM Punk and uh, P John Cena possibly being injured worse than uh, he's letting on to be um, due to his injury, there's now talk of The Undertaker possibly being brought in to add star power to the lineup. Uh, I, I don't see John Cena missing the show. I don't see CM Punk is going to miss the show. I don't, see, I, don't, I don't think The Undertaker is necessary for the show, to be quite honest with you. I think they can make do without The Undertaker. Uh, the next time we should see The Undertaker, though, is I think we should see him at SummerSlam in a possible altercation with The Shield. Because I know The Shield is scheduled to face Team Hell No at Extreme Rules. They will definitely capture the WWE Tag Team Championships. And if you guys missed my Monday Night Raw review um, this past Monday uh, about The Shield, there's an article by Justin Labar from WrestleZone.com, and he's also a writer for Bleacher Report. Check that out. There's a link in that video. I'll link it here as well in the description. Check out what I said about him and his article in the Monday Night Raw review for, uh, concerning the Shield. It's absolutely epic, and I really wish WWE would open their eyes and their ears and listen to some someone with a brain, uh, because the idea that he brought to the table is absolutely epic, and I would love to see that materialize on WWE TV. Sam Punk is currently not listed for any television pay-per-views or house shows uh, for the entire month of May. Punk's next scheduled appearance is for a Raw TV taping June 3rd, in Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, I heard that Punk may be brought back. Uh, I don't know what date it is or what day it falls on, but Monday Night Raw, one of these coming weeks, will be held in Chicago. Uh, WWE is scheduled to have CM Punk on that show, being that he is from Chicago, so we'll have to see how that plays out. But I, I really think they should rest him and let him fully heal. You don't want any, to risk any injury with CM Punk. You want him back and healthy, and you want him on TV full-time for the rest of the year after he comes back, plain and simple. Batista tweeted the following this weekend, possibly teasing a return to pro wrestling. I quote, very rewarding long week. Hashtag, I miss the days when I could entertain you live and in person. But hashtag, trust me, you're going to love what's coming. Batista's needed on WWE TV. I said this last week. The only possible feud I see for John Cena after he finishes his program with Ryback is with Batista. Batista was the last guy John Cena fought before he quit. And Batista would make a great opponent challenging John Cena for the WWE Championship heading into SummerSlam. You got to get Batista back. In fact, get John Morrison back, get Rob Van Dam back, get Carlito back. Get all these guys back. Charlie Haas, whoever you want. Uh, Shelton Benjamin. Get all these guys back. Build your mid-card. Get that star power back on TV with Batista. Chris Jericho is going to work throughout the year sparingly uh, You know when he's not touring with Fozzie. Uh, the Rock possibly is going to come back. I'll talk about that in a little bit. But you get Batista back. Pay him whatever you got to pay him and get him on TV. He's still worth the money. He's still got the star power. He's still a big draw. People want to see him. You know, he's, gonna, he's a big name. People know him from MMA now. He's a, he's, you know, he's a, a movie star, quote-unquote. But he is a, a big WWE superstar, one of the biggest of all time. So it would be worth it uh, to, for WWE to invest in, in getting Batista back on TV. Variety reports that WWE and Yahoo have announced a new partnership that will see a 30-minute Raw pre-show begin airing on Yahoo, Yahoo's website very soon. Yahoo will also have an exclusive access to WWE archives, TV shows, highlights, and other events, as well as pre-show uh, pre pay-per-view previews. Um, I really, uh, this doesn't interest me at all. I don't need to see another half an hour on top of the three hours of Raw. Raw is already too long as it is. I don't need a fucking pre-show. Uh, put Raw back to two hours and then talk to me about a pre-show. How about that? The updated card for Extreme Rules is WWE Champion John Cena vs. Ryback for the WWE title. Steel Cage match Triple H vs. Brock Lesnar. And now a ladder match was announced on Monday Night Raw. Ladder match, triple threat, Alberto Del Rio, Jack Swagger, and Dolph Ziggler. Uh, the Shield versus Team Hell No has not been announced, but that will definitely be taking place at the pay-per-view. Uh, and prob probably a Divas match somewhere, but we don't know what's going on yet until the rest of the card fills out in the next couple of weeks. And finally, guys, re regarding Dwayne Johnson and his future with WWE, Vince McMahon was actually asked if he's finished as a wrestler at the annual stockholders meeting on April 26th. And he completely blew it off like there was no way 
to that case. People close to Vince note that he believes Rock versus Brock Lesnar will still happen at WrestleMania 30. As PWMania.com previously reported this week, WWE wants The Rock to appear at Hell in a Cell this October from his hometown in Miami. That may be where they decide to do the angle between The Rock and Brock Lesnar. Now, I really think this match need to take, needs to take place. Number one, you're not going to get much more out of The Rock after this. This is probably the end of the road for The Rock if he fights Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 30. This is it. You really don't want to see him do anything more uh, because there's nothing for him to do. You know, I, I spoke bad about The Rock in, in the past couple of months. He came back. He's all about Hollywood. He's all about the money. He doesn't care about the product. He doesn't care what's on TV as long as his name and his legacy is built up to the point where he wants it to be built up. That's all that The Rock cares about. He wanted one final go as WWE Champion. The WWE gave him that. They, they put him over CM Punk, which they didn't really need to do because Punk was the hottest wrestler in the industry. And you immediately cut that, stop that. You put that to a halt. All because you had to give The Rock the WWE Championship. Yes, it made you more money. Yes, it made WrestleMania the biggest selling pay-per-view of all time for the WWE. You know, it, obviously, it's a great business decision, but what does it do for the product? It does nothing for the product. You know, you really can't all be about the money. You're going to make money regardless because it's The Rock. You know, and I, I think he's going to come back. You know, The Rock is not going to go wrestle anywhere else. He's not going to go wrestle for TNA. He's not going to go wrestle for Ring of Honor. He's a WWE lifer. You know, he's got a great relationship with Vince McMahon. Obviously, something happened that I don't know yet. Uh, i got to uncover what happened there. You know, The Rock is known to be a diva. You know, he, he's a Hollywood superstar. He's got to have all the attention on him. He's got to be, you know, you know... I don't know. It's just he's just like Jennifer Lopez. He's like one of them fucking divas. You know, he's got to have everything handed to him. He's got to be pampered. You know, that's that's another thing I don't like about The Rock. But I believe this match will definitely take place at WrestleMania 30. It needs to take place because if you have The Rock versus Brock Lesnar, if you have Steve Austin come back for one more match against CM Punk, if you have The Undertaker versus John Cena, if you have Triple H fighting Shawn Michaels, this is my WrestleMania card, folks. This is my dream WrestleMania card. It, it could happen. It could happen. Shawn Michaels would come out of retirement for his best friend. I fully believe that. The Undertaker, rumored right now, there's rumors going around that he might fight right back next year. Nobody wants to see that. Just book the match. Cena versus Undertaker. People want to see it. People have been wanting to see it for the last five years. It's going to happen. If this WrestleMania happens, those four matches, this will be the single greatest wrestling event that ever aired on American TV. I guarantee fucking to you. That would be the biggest WrestleMania of all time. That WrestleMania may, may do close to 2 million buys. Never, never mind the 1.3 and the 1.4 that they did this year. That would do, that would do 2 million, guaranteed. Guaranteed fucking to you. There's no way that, that, there's no way the WWE could fuck that up. The Rock is gonna be back. I fully believe The Rock is gonna be back. But against Brock Lesnar, it's a money match. Vince will make it happen any way he can. He'll throw whatever he can at The Rock to come back. The Rock just got surgery, he'll be back. Just, Trust me, he'll be back. But that's the news and rumors, guys. I hope you enjoyed. As always, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Let's try to get this to 50 likes. I don't really have high expectations for my WWE content on here. I know there's uh, quite a few of you who enjoy my content, but I really don't know how to set goals for this because I don't know who really watches it. But the WWE news and rumors has always been uh, one of my best videos of the week. It gets a ton of views. So if you did enjoy that, hit that like button. Let's try to aim for 50 likes here. And as always, guys, I'm heading towards 3,000 subscribers. Let's try and get JD's channel up there to 3,000. I cannot do it without you guys, so I thank each and every one of you. And if you're new, I thank you for subscribing. Until next week, guys, Monday Night Raw Review will be on Tuesday morning. Uh, so look forward to that. I'm out, guys. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.